Welcome back to Biohack Tuesday, where we turn science into simple strategies for better health, more energy, and stronger metabolism. I'm Dr. Rose, the Primal Professor, and today we're talking about something that affects every single cell in your body, your mitochondria, the tiny power plants inside your cells that makes the energy you run on. So if you're tired all the time, if fat loss feels harder than it should, or inflammation just won't go away, your mitochondria might be the problem. And the good news, you absolutely can make them work better. So think of your mitochondria as little metabolic engines. When they're strong and efficient, they turn the food you eat into energy with ease, they keep inflammation low, and they help you burn fat instead of storing it. But when they're weak, often from poor diet, too much stress, or too little movement, everything slows down, energy, metabolism, or even cellular repair. So let's talk about three powerful ways to biohack your mitochondria and supercharge how your body runs. Number one, you have to train your mitochondria with movement. You don't have to run marathons to build a better mitochondria. The key is metabolic stress, short bursts of challenge that make your cells adapt. A mix of zone two cardio, think of a brisk walk or cycling where you can still hold a conversation, builds more mitochondria over time. Adding a few bouts of high intensity exercises like sprints or interval training teaches existing mitochondria to work harder and more efficiently. Even 10 to 20 minutes a day can boost mitochondrial density and improve energy levels and make your metabolism more adaptable. The number two is that you have to, and I think this is really key, is or more than half the battle, is you have to fuel them properly. Mitochondria thrive when you stop overwhelming them with constant glucose. That's why low carb keto or carnivore diets are so powerful. They shift your metabolism towards fat oxidation, which is cleaner and a more efficient fuel. So here's what that means for you. Less oxidative stress, so fewer free radicals and less inflammation. More stable energy, better metabolic flexibility, which means your mitochondria can switch between fuels instead of relying just on sugar 24-7. Adding nutrient-dense foods like grass-fed meats, eggs, sardines, organ meats, all provide crucial mitochondrial nutrients like CoQ10, L-carnitine, and B vitamins. Number three, hormetic stress to make them stronger. Mitochondria love controlled stress, things that push them to adapt and rebuild. This is called hormesis, and it's one of the most powerful tools for your mitochondrial health. So what do I mean by that? A cold shower or an ice bath. That triggers mitochondrial biogenesis, and that just means the creation of more mitochondria. You can have heat exposure like a sauna. That stimulates repair and improves their ability to handle oxidative stress. Intermittent fasting turns on autophagy, your body's um, cellular cleanup system, and it encourages mitochondria to become more efficient. So think of it like going to the gym, but for your cells. So your mitochondria aren't just about energy. They're about longevity, metabolic flexibility, and disease prevention. And the best part, you don't need expensive supplements or fancy devices. You need smart movement, the right fuel, and small intentional stressors that make your cells strong over time. If you found this helpful, share it with somebody who's always saying they're tired. And if you're ready to build a metabolism that runs like a well-tuned engine, grab a copy of my ebook, Keto Made Simple. It's your guide to fueling your mitochondria and transforming your health from the inside out. I'll see you in the next video.